So after we've polarized the, the water, then uh, the first thing we need to do is the Arduino needs to, uh, we need to convert the Arduino signal into something that the board can work with. The Arduino can only do positive, so the first amp amp uh, lets us flip that into positive voltage and negative voltage. Then the second op amp, so the Arduino sends uh, square pulses and we need something rounder. So uh, in order to smooth it out, we need to remove the high pass. So this is a, a low pass filter right here. The third op amp, uh, with, the thanks, with, with the help of this uh, potentiometer up here, lets us tune how much power we have so we can magnify or reduce the, the signal um, so we can tune how much energy we put into our oscillator, into our uh, yeah, oscillating uh, nuclei. These three uh, relays right here kind of help us time everything. So it lets us uh, connect the, the transceiver coil to ground so everything's quiet, you know, there's no like background noise that gets built up into there. Then, uh, as soon as we're ready, we cut that, so we, we unground the coil. Then we open up the, transceiver, the transmitter so that we can send information into the coil. And then we close, well, I guess we open up the receiver, and then we close the uh, listener so that any noise back here can't get to the front of the system. And we listen to the response from the hydrogen nuclei. So then we've got these, uh, the three op amps at the end. The first one is a magnifier. So we're, you know, we're listening to uh, protons and they're extremely quiet. We're not in a high magnetic field. So these things, yeah. So we have a thousand fold uh, magnification of the proton signal of, yeah, of the received, of the echo basically. Then uh, we have a bandpass filter, which um, you know, we've got all this noise, everything gets magnified a thousandfold, and, but we only care about a small spectrum of radiation coming back out of the system. So we uh, narrow that down with a bandpass filter. And then finally, we need to change, uh, you know, the, the plus and minus voltages back to something the Arduino can listen to. And so that's what the last op amp does. It kind of flips everything back and gets it in the right range.